I hope all are safe at home. Today we are going to start with chapter 1 of maths that is indigenous. In 6th standard we have studied about natural numbers, whole numbers etc. So natural numbers. What are natural numbers? The numbers that we use for counting, like that of 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., they are called natural numbers. So, natural numbers are the numbers starting with 1. So, the smallest natural number that is 1. Then, what are whole numbers? Whole numbers are the numbers that start from 0. That start from 0. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. They are called the whole numbers. So the smallest of the whole numbers it is 0. And the smallest of natural numbers that is 1. Then what are integers then? What are integers? The whole numbers along with their negatives, they are called integers. So the whole numbers are there and also their negative numbers are there. They are called as integers. And you know these integers can be plotted on a number line. What is a number line? Have you studied about number line? We can see this is the number line. And you must have studied line, line, segment, etc. So here arrow to both the sides that is the line that means it extends to both the sides so in this the center mark it 0 from 0 towards the right all numbers are positive that should be marked one unit equal distance equal distance we can mark it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 same way towards the left Equal distance minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6. So integers can be plotted on a number. Okay then. So the numbers like, for example, we can mark the numbers like 3 upon 4, 2 upon 3, even 0 upon 6. This one can be plotted on the number line, but they are not considered as integers. So what are integers then? Integers are the whole numbers along with their negatives. So they are integers. Is that clear to you? Now, next what you are going to study is how these integers can be added or how this can be subtracted. So addition and subtraction of integers. First we can see addition. Addition of integers. Addition. This number like already I told you. As you go from 0 towards the right, the value goes on increasing. And from 0 towards the left, the value goes on decreasing. Now, suppose using number line, if you want to add the integers, see that 1 plus 3. We are using the number line to add the integers. Where is the integer 1? Here. Okay. How many integers? How much do I have to add? 2 in 3 units. So 3 times. See that 1, 1, then 2, then 3. Where it reaches? 4. Then what is 1 plus 3? That is 4. That is using the number line. Then another example. 2 plus minus 4. Here see, which is the number 2. Where is num number 2 in the number line? Here. Then how much you have to add? Minus 4. Minus or negative 4. That means you have to move towards the left. Move to the right as it is minus here. So from 2, how many units? 4 units towards the left. That is 1, 2, 3 and 4. But where it is? Minus 2. 
So that is the answer. So this is how you have to add integers using number like. Now, we, there are certain rules also to add integers that we can see. For example, I will write here in addition. If both the digits are positive plus, when you add two positive integers or when you add two negative integers, how to add it? For that, what we are to do is with the example I give you. Here, see, one plus three, positive. What you have to add is if it is plus one, if you write with the sign plus plus 2 if it is. Both have the same sign. What you have to add to do is without sign you add the numbers that we call the absolute value that we will study later. And 1 plus 2 what is the answer? 3 which is a common sign here plus. So plus. Same way if it is minus 3 plus minus 2. See that both have the same sign negative sign minus minus. So what you have to do is 3 plus 2 you do. What is 3 plus 2? 5. Which is the common sign here? That is minus. So minus 5. Is that clear? That means if both the integers are positive, the result, the sum also will be positive. If both the integers are negative, then also then the sum will be negative. That means when you add two integers with the same sign, you write the numbers in integers as it is and then get the common sign. So here it will be positive, here it will be negative. And if one of the integer if it is positive and the other integer if it is negative, that means if you want to add a positive integer and a negative integer, what you have to do is subtract the smaller from the bigger number and give the sign of the bigger number. With example, I will show you. That is plus 5 plus minus 1. Plus 5 plus minus 1. Both have different signs. What I told? First, you have to subtract the smaller from the bigger. That means without considering the sign. Which is smaller? 1. Bigger number is 5. 5 minus 1, 4. Which is the sign of the bigger number? That is positive. So the answer will be plus 4. If you want simply you can write 4 more. So if positive is not compulsory to be in the sign. Is that clear? Same way with negative also. If you add minus 3 plus minus 8. Without considering the sign that is absolute value. Which is a bigger one? 8. Smaller one? 3. What is? Sorry. Here plus. plus. So minus 3 plus 8. So, which is the bigger one? 8. Which is the smaller one? 3. So, what is 8 minus 3? 5. The sign of the bigger number it is plus. So, plus 5. One more example. Minus 7 plus 3. Here, bigger one? 7. Without considering the sign. Then we have to do is difference between 7 and 3. That is 4. So, bigger number is 7, so its sign is minus, so minus 4. So, this is how you have to add integers. If both have the same sign, you add and give the common sign. If one is positive and the one is negative, then what to do? Difference between the two. Difference between the absolute values. Then give sign of the bigger number I think it's clear to you for addition and subtraction of integers. So in that I can give you some questions to answer that is some example questions or assignment that's already there in your textbook. I think almost have got your textbook. In exercise 1.1, in exercise 1.1 of your textbook, question 1. 
that you can try at home, do at home, very easy. It is from the number line you have to answer, question 1. Then question 7 and question 9. So assignment in this. Assignment questions. In this topic, exercise 1.1, question 1. Then question 7 and question 9. 7 and question 9. There is question 2 to 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can try that at home. If you are finding it difficult, after completing this chapter, I will solve it on the board. So you can write these three. You can wrap it with this 1, 7 and 9. And if possible, try to solve from 2 and 2 to 6. If possible. Otherwise, anyhow, I am going to do it on the board. Is that clear? Addition and uh, subtraction. And in that, question 8. One or two questions, I am going to solve it here on the board to help you out. Minus minus plus 